Hey guys, how's it going? It's Robin here. So daily tarot card reading today. This is going to be for Thursday, May 19th, and I'm using the Secret Language of Light Oracle card deck. So let me just give a quick shuffle here. This reading is for the collective. So whatever you got going on out there, hopefully this resonates for you. Uh, yeah. So anyway, let me just pull a card. Let's have a look at what's going on here. I wasn't expecting this. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. Okay, so this says, I think, Vesica Pisces. Okay, so let's open the book. I'll do that on a pause and we'll come back and see what this is all about. Okay, so this looks like it's actually going to be a pretty cool card. So I'm just going to go ahead and read from the book. This says, the outside world feels more real than the inner world because we have been encouraged to focus more on what is outside of us. We have learned to give things that can be seen by others or touched by us more importance than what we feel. Remember I was talking about feelings like on Tuesday and Wednesday? Making decisions can become difficult when our awareness is focused away from our inner needs and wants. When our internal and external realities are integrated, decisions are clear and easily made. This leads to satisfaction as there is no resistance to your fulfillment. When we scan the myriad possibilities open to us in the manifested world, we know what we want and will not feel overwhelmed. Hmm. In this space, we become grateful for the decisions we have made and all the ones we will make in the future. Okay, so there is a meditation here and I don't really usually read them, but I think this one's going to be important. So let me, um, it says the Vesica Pisces is a symbol that shows how conscious consciousness splits to know itself and expand life. <clears throat> Okay, so from this place, it can reflect upon itself, seeing itself rather than just out from itself. What? The Vesica Pisces is the basis of the seed of life and the flower of life. Fascinating. No matter how many times it splits and moves outward, there is always a link back to itself within the intersection of circles. Okay, this is like super deep. So place a hand on the image, gently close your eyes, and you can just put your hand on your heart if you want to do this a little bit later. Breathe deeply and imagine that you are sitting in the middle of a circle. Okay, so it's just going on and on and on here. Um, <clears throat> and it's just a meditation to focus on this. And I think it goes really deeply into what the flower of life is, which is like something completely on a high level that I'm not going to go into right now. So inspired reflections and actions imagine you are the overlap of the vesica pisces okay so i guess that would be this right in here um <clears throat> for one day meet every experience and person that comes your way without judgment turn off the television and turn into your inner glow of creativity and entertainment speak your truth this does not mean pushing your judgments. I love that clarification. Because I think that some people, they just use the phrase as, oh, I'm just being honest to be a complete, mm, you know, I have several words. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, speaking your truth and being a dick are completely different things. Okay, so <laughs> just saying. <laughs> okay, so anyway. It means allowing yourself to say something to someone without blame or needing anything from them. If this makes you feel vulnerable, it means you care more about what others think than you than what you think of yourself. Boom. I love that. Okay. I'm going to read that again. If speaking your truth to somebody else makes you feel vulnerable, it's because you care more about their opinion of you than your own. No more of that. Okay, so speaking your truth should fill you with confidence and joy and not make you feel like, oh, do you approve of my truth? Because it doesn't matter. Okay, your own approval is more important than anybody else's and it should always be at the top level. Okay, so um, 
journal work it says to draw or write about three things you would like to reboot or rebirth into your life okay so amazing card i have absolutely no idea what this was before we pulled it today so thank you guys for sharing in this experience with me i'm gonna wrap it up and wishing you guys love and many blessings peace and joy namaste guys from the bottom of my heart i love you guys take care <laughs> bye